this is what I'm wearing today, y'all. I've got a million things to do. Uh, I'm not usually comfortable with the sleeves this short, but we are under a heat advisory here in Texas. So if y'all happen to catch a glimpse of some fat meat arms, look the other way. It's all I can do. But y'all, I have found, hold on, let me go get in the car. I got a million things to do. I'll talk to you in the car. Y'all, Nicole wanted a mask and she wanted uh, like one that was meaningful. I made her the trans flag. This is what the trans flag looks like. It's blue, pink, white, pink, blue. So I made her a trans flag mask. So you can make a statement with a mask. But yeah, y'all, it's, I don't know how hot it is. It's, it's, it's AKA hell at the moment. We are under, well, it says it's only 89. It's a lie. It's a lie. We're under a heat advisory because it's hot. Really, really, really hot, isn't it, Clay? Mm -hmm. Look, y'all, these are trying to part right there on me, and I think that looks ugly. But see, I'm sweaty. My forehead gets sweaty. And uh, then they stick. One of the problems of having real fine hair and being a big sweaty hog. Yeah. But anyway, like I said, y'all, when I filmed the video a while ago, I'm wearing this shirt. I don't like my arms being out like this. It's too hot. If y'all catch a glimpse of my old fat meat, uh, uh, look the other way if you find it. If you, I know none of my friends do. If it disgust, if my old fat arms disgust you, that's your problem, not mine. <laughs> I don't like them. They disgust me. Don't get me wrong. And that's why I usually try to cover them up. But, um, y'all, let me tell you a story. When, uh, seems like I, might, I may have told this story. I don't know. I may be an old lady. I may be listening to repeat a story I done told y'all. But, uh, after my grandmother passed away, like, I've always had big arms. I, I just, I have giant arms. I hate it. But it, it just is what it is. Gina, are you not paying attention to the red light? You Clay, I saw the red light and I'm still fixing to go. What? Where's my brain at? I don't know. Dad does that all the time. Oh my God. Anyway. You pull a daddy. I tried to pull a Dan, didn't I? He did. Um, he does that at the other red light. He, he did it right in front of a policeman one day too, didn't he? Ran a red light. His brain, he was just like, people started going so he went too. And yeah, it just so happened there was a policeman sitting on the, on the side or something like that. Right in front of the policeman. And yes, he got a ticket. <laughs> Anyway, um, my grandmother had passed away, so we were over there going through her stuff, uh, trying to get things sorted, and uh, I was in one room, Mama was in the other, and we're, you know, cleaning, sorting out, all that kind of stuff, and uh, all of a sudden, I hear, Gina! And I was like, oh my God, I, like I was halfway scared to go see what the problem was. I was like, has she fallen? Is she, I, I couldn't imagine. Was it a snake? Because that's how she hollered like she didn't run across a snake or something. So I go in there. My mom is holding a picture of her mama and her her mama and her mama's sisters. All up. I think there's like four of them. Anyway, mama goes, look, there's where you get your arms from. And she pointed to one of my sisters. I was like, <laughs> Really? You hollered in here like that to come tell me where I got my fat arms from? Yeah, she was telling me where my fat arms come from. Me and my sister had arms just like this. So, yeah. Anyway, we're headed. Y'all, I found, like, you know, Callie's groomer had left the place where we normally go. And uh, I was like, I, I guess I'll just have to find another one. So, uh, a friend over here at the pharmacy suggested her groomer. Now, I don't have any problem with the groomer. I really don't. I didn't vibe with the whole place. And now that I've talked to my groomer, I actually found any, y'all, this is my brain. I'm so sorry. I had run through the bank to put some money in the bank or whatever. And Callie, you know, rides out the window. And this, it was a new girl at the bank. She was like, oh my God, she's so cute. She said, you can just tell she's happy. And, you know, I said, well, please ignore the fact that my baby looks raggedy because our groomer uh, left the place where we went and I can't find her. And she said, who? And I was like, um, I don't know. I mean, and I told her her name, Alyssa. 
And she said, oh no, she's starting her own place right here in town. I was like, shut up. So I called, I was so excited. Callie is at the vet. Like I literally called like two days ago and now she's in getting groomed. So my baby is with Miss Melissa. And I was so worried y'all because you know, I hate leaving Callie. It's like she literally pooped at the other one. And, uh, and that'll just tell you how the difference in, like, dogs know the difference. She, um, w when we took her to that one over there, y'all know I told you she literally pooped in the floor while the lady was holding her. Not the groomer, like a lady she had hired to work the front counter. So, anyway, when I drove up to Miss Melissa's new place, Callie's never been there. She got so excited. She was jumping all around. I went in there she went right to Melissa and was loving on her I am thrilled but in talking to Melissa about the groomer over there she said yeah she wanted me to come to work for her it turns out that not good vibe that I got was from the lady that took Callie from me to uh, uh, like took her in she wasn't the groomer from what I understand the groomer is extremely nice and all that kind of stuff but she did get that terrible ear infection so yeah anyway I'm not saying that groomer over there is bad I'm saying my baby come out like my baby shit the floor because she was so scared to be in there and I kind of didn't blame her because it was really dark like, it, it was dark like, it, the, the walls were dark there was not really a lot of lighting it didn't feel like anyway and Miss Melissa's place is adorable it's bright and pretty and hot pink yeah that's my jam that's my jam so anyway there's that story now we're headed to go get some prescriptions filled because you know we don't like to leave Callie so while she's at uh, the beauty shop we are gonna go get some medicine filled pick up some groceries and all that kind of Clay you're blinding me the Sun is about to put my ear Clay's phone was catching the Sun is about to put my eyeball out but yeah we're gonna do the things that we can't do because we normally have Callie or we don't leave her um, I have a million things I would like to do, but she's only going to be there like three to four hours. So, yeah. But, how are you today, man? Good. You good? Mm -hmm. You've been working hard? Yeah. Everybody really enjoyed you talking last week <laughs> and telling stories and stuff like that. So, yeah. I love old Clay, man, y'all. He's so fun to be with because he's, you're always happy, huh? Clay's always happy. Now, you can get ticked off, can't you? Uh, what, I, what would you say? Um, Bill, the customer that makes the gel hard, yeah. That's right. I don't blame him. That's, to me, a legitimate reason to be annoyed. Yeah. And that's probably what, actually, what would you say is your number one annoying thing that people, like, And he comes by and honest because he gets it from me and his daddy. We like, we don't like rude people like driving or in oh, the yeah. store. Would you say that? Well, yeah. Well, you tell me. I don't want to oh. put words in your mouth. Uh, this people that had a job and then expect to be done like right then, you know? That and what Clay said, like when they're doing a job and the people want it done like right now. That, that's annoying. Yeah, it is. See, cause, and and y'all, my mama is guilty of this. She uh, watches HGTV. Why is this so dark? What's going on? Phone got real dark all of a sudden. I don't know what's going on. But my mama watches HGTV, and she sees the show get done in 30 minutes. Well, that's how long she thinks it should take to do that job. She don't realize there's 92 people in the background, and these were cut. This is all edited into 30 minutes, you know, so, uh, Nana, you know you're guilty of that. <laughs> she don't watch my videos for long, thing. Calling on the weekend, that really does. Calling on the weekend, yeah. Sometimes, you know, stuff does need to get done, but yeah. sometimes people are just jerks about wanting it done right freaking now. Yeah. Because Dan works long and hard, and the, when he does have five minutes off and people are still jacking with him, I think that's, that's, anyway. I don't mean to turn this into a rant session. Because, you know, we we good at some ranting, ain't we, man? Well. What do y'all think? Are y'all still liking the bangs? What do you, I mean, I, I, I'm definitely liking them. I, I, I'm definitely liking them. 
it's taking some getting used to, but I'm de I definitely, oh Lord, we're riding a fucking Bronco. <laughs> this road is crazy. You got anything else you want to say before we cut it off? No. All right, we'll see y'all in a minute. Y'all, we are about to die up in here. Got me looking all crazy. My hair sweated to my forehead. Y'all, but if I'm my big old fat sweaty self, can wear this mask in here. Everybody else can wear a mask in here too. We got to get our mess and get out of here. Y'all, am I about the same color as this shirt, this dress I got on? Cause it is hot. I hate to complain about it all the time, but I'm dripping wet. Clay, are you hot? Yep. Y'all, Walmart gave him a mask to put on. Well, that night he couldn't find his mask. Ain't that something, y'all? Dan's usually the worst, and Nicole ain't terrible about keeping up with anything. Speaking of, let me tell I'll get on that in just a minute. But Clay Man couldn't put his hand on his mask today. Isn't that crazy, y'all? I've made a hundred masks, and Clay had to get a free one from Walmart. That's a shame, ain't it, man? Mm -hmm. We're going to be more prepared next time, though. But I thought that was really nice that they were handing out the paper ones because I said, I'll just buy some when I get in there. And she said, well, you, you know, these are complimentary. And I said, okay, well, we'll just take one. And I'm glad I said that because the box of them was 17 something. I don't remember, seven, $18. So, and I didn't want to buy no paper ones because, like I said, I've made it. Good I got them, you know, at the house, you know. So, anyway. But speaking of Dan, y'all, this is my husband. I made him Arkansas Razorback mask. He's an Arkansas Razorback fan. And I made it out of t-shirt material to, like, to make it even more comfortable to wear. Because I can only imagine doing what he does, how hot he gets. Now, he don't wear it like when he's doing a job and nobody's around, he don't wear it. But when he has to be around somebody, I made him mask for that. Would you look at the holes in it? Big ass hole. Big asshole. I texted him. I said, what happened to your mask? Uh, I had to loosen something up with it. So, whatever he did, he lo whatever he loosened up, tore two big giant holes in it. Why would he, look y'all, I make him a box of rag. Like I cut up old t-shirts and old socks. and I make him a box of rags because he always needs rags. Plus, he buys boxes of rags from Lowe's. But no, take the damn mask and tear it up. Y'all, I know y'all's husband's probably just like that, doing some dumb stuff like that. I, I want to choke his eyeballs out 99% of the time. <laughs> Who's with me? Who's with me? <laughs> I want to choke Dan. I want to choke his eyeballs out. This was, this was, see to me what this says? He don't, he don't consider my feelings whatsoever. It's like, so what? She just, you know, spent time getting the material and spent time making it, especially for me, so that it'd be comfortable. Let me see, can I tear it up first day out of the box? <laughs> I'm going home. Well, it's about time for Callie to be done, so I'm going to run home. Put, and look, y'all, he didn't run all the gas out of my, I had a full tank of gas in my car. He's been using it for the last couple of days. My gas, my tank is on empty. Has he bothered to get me some gas? Nope. nope. Will he? Nope. nope. Anyway, so I gotta go get all this mess put up, go get some gas, and then it'll probably be time to get Callie at that time. So, Dan, uh, Dad got on your nerves by getting irritated a couple of days ago and took it out on you, didn't he? Yeah, that's, see, that's what we don't like. Dan, Dan needs to uh, have a little attitude adjustment. That's what Dan needs. <laughs> he needs oh. a little attitude adjustment. He's needed it for about 40 years. <laughs> but, uh, Dan, that's it, y'all. And I, I, y'all know, I mean, I've been with the man for 40 years. So, yes, I'm bitching and moaning about him. But, you know, I love his OS. But anyway, y'all, Dan is, like, when he was in school, when he was a little kid, I cannot imagine what it was like trying to be that boy's teacher. Dan has ADHD. And, you, and he takes medicine for it as an adult. And, and he's still all over the place. So, yeah. Living with Dan is difficult. It's extremely difficult. And, and the way that we've made it work is 
I don't mess with Dan. Dan does his thing. Gina does her thing. And, yeah, that's, that's what works best for us. Because if I try to, like, live right alongside Dan, I'm going to choke his guts out. <laughs> I can't, I can't live right alongside Dan. Uh, mm -mm. Nope. Anyway. Mm. And on top of that, y'all, I forgot to say, that's what I turned the radio, uh, the radio, the camera on for. Clay, Dan got Clay's radio. Y'all might have heard us say that in a vlog a couple weeks ago. Dan's radio that he uses on the job broke or whatever. Is that what happened? I don't know. Whatever. He, he probably left it at a job. That's probably where it is. Anyway, so he got Clay's out of his room. And see, that's Dan's thing. Instead of doing, like, keeping up with his stuff, he knows he can just get another one because, like, either Clay will have one, I'll have one, or he can just go buy another one, you know, whatever. So he don't keep up with nothing. So he got Clay's radio out of Clay's room. And so Clay hasn't had a radio. And that's how Clay, but Clay, Clay's radio goes all the time because he sleeps with it on. That's, like, his noise. And mine is a fan. But, um, anyway... I've been meaning to order one off of Amazon, and I had showed Clay one, and he was like, well, yeah, I kind of like that, and then I meant to go and look for some different ones and show those to him, and then I just forgot, so when we were in Walmart just now, we picked him up a new, we thought, radio. He gets it out, he, he was unboxing it, he wanted to look at it on the way home. No, we bought a CD player, it's not a radio, so now we got to go back to Walmart and trade this radio, y'all. Dan makes 10 times the work for folks. Now, granted, that was, we were stupid. We didn't read the box good. It was sitting right beside a radio. That one was red. This one was black. So, I just assumed, you know, they were both radio. So, that's my fault. <laughs> but, if he hadn't got Clay's radio to start with, we wouldn't have been needing to hunt one. So, let me get my groceries put up and go get my baby. And that's how it goes at our house. That's how it goes at our house, y'all. Jacked up day in and day out <laughs> my nerves are shot and then that's why I'm sweating and being hot on top of that you talk about it being in a bad mood I don't know how I'm ever in a good mood living with Dan and his crazy self and this stupid heat and humidity anyway that's crazy great. Oh, look at Miss Callie you so pretty look at Cal you mad at me come here don't be mad at Grant Miss Kitty, please move. I can't see what I'm doing because Miss Kitty's got her butt in my face. Miss Callie, so... Oh, is it Clay Man? Hey, what Clay Man. Doing? What you doing? So, Granny's trying to get a video of me looking beautiful. I look beautiful. Thank you, Miss Melissa. Look, somebody got a new toy. Did you get a new toy? Thank you, Uncle Clay. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle Clay. Squeak it for her. <gasps> oh, did you get a new pink baby? You got a pink baby. Put it on the floor and let her go get it. <laughs> Y'all, she loves them babies. Yeah. Alright. Thank you, man. Clay was in here showing me a YouTuber he watches. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Michael something some man some producer man that wears a whole bunch of crazy clothes really he's got like a real expensive like watch collection a whole bunch of clothes and shoes and stuff like that he dresses real crazy huh clay <laughs> yeah yeah clay's been watching him you like your baby you like your baby oh <laughs> she's just my baby i lied I said I wasn't going to sew any more masks, but I have some more material. I found a really good deal on some fabric, some coach stuff. So, I am going to be doing some more. You love that baby? Do you love that baby? You're so pretty. What are you doing, pretty girl? What are you doing? Is that a pretty baby? You love that baby? Oh, I love you, Miss Callie. Callie. I'm so glad we found Melissa and we were able to get you groomed today. Yeah, Miss Melissa and her husband Damon, I just, I, I, I love them. They are, they're like, they're, they're doing exactly what they want to do and you can tell they both love it. So, yeah, and Miss Callie loves both of them, so 
Granny Happy.